hi everyone. This is the interview with Mum about Parkinson's. Um, so, Mum, what is what is Parkinson's? Parkinson's is a progressive neurological condition affecting movements such as walking, talking, and writing, which unfortunately has ha what's happened to me. It is named after Dr. James Parkins, the London doctor who first identified Parkinson's as a specific condition. Parkinson occurs as a result of a loss of nerve cells in the part of the brain known as the substantia nigra. These cells are responsible for producing a chemical known as dopamine, which allows messages to be sent to the parts of the brain that coordinate movement. With the depletion of dopamine producing cells, these parts of the brain are unable to function normally. So what are the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's disease? Unfortunately, the signs and symptoms have affected me, all of them have affected me. You get a bad tremor, which is usually the beginning in one hand. This is the first symptom of 70% of people with Parkinson's. Slowness of movement, which is called bradykinesia. People with Parkinson's may find that they have difficulty initiating movements or that performing movement takes longer. Stiffness or rigidity of muscles, problems with activities such as standing up from a chair or rolling over in bed may too be experienced. Other motor neuron uh, symptoms are sleep disturbance, constipation, urinary urgency and depression. But everybody is affected differently. Um, every single person is different with Parkinson's. Yeah, there's not one person that's the same, is there? Every single person is different. That's correct. Every single person is different. So what I'm saying is um, not necessarily will affect you in that way. Do we know exactly what causes Parkinson's? Yes, it's the lack of dopamine in the brain that's the... So we're all born with it, aren't we? But We're some... all born with dopamine, but people with Parkinson's lose, gradually lose more and more because it's a progressive disease. So unfortunately you never get better with it. Yeah. It just moves on because of the lack of the dopamine in the brain. So in your case, one of the things that you've had is a freezing where you literally can't move anything. Well, that yes, that's a horrible thing that can happen. Some people get freezing through doorways, but I, it happened with me in bed. And you, the condition is where you cannot move, you can only hear, you can't open your eyes or speak. The treatment can only be patient to be left comfortable, checked on regularly until coming round. Sometimes it can just be an hour, sometimes it can be up to five or six hours. There is an increase in tablets late at night which will counteract the symptoms. A couple of times when the carers have come in in the morning their mum's gone into a freeze, they've actually thought that she's passed away because mum just couldn't move or speak or anything uh, so by, yeah, they called an ambulance and called me because it's so bad that they just didn't know what was going on no and it's horrible for the um for myself it was just horrible because i couldn't move and they have to check that you're not passed away yeah. or um or had a stroke or something, which isn't a good thing. So what medication do you take? Or did you start? I know you're on a lot of other stuff. But yeah, I'm on um, quite a bit of medication. Um, the main thing for Parkinson's is Cocaldopa. Um, I'm on three different strengths of that. 
and I take that four times a day and a special one at night to stop the freezing. And then I have something called entacapone, which is four times a day and has to be taken with the cocoa dopa. There's another tablet called cinema, which I have to take four times a day. And that's all to do with the Parkinson's, apart from other things for pain I take. So how many years have you had Parkinson's disease? Since 2008. Is that when you were diagnosed? That's when, yeah, that's when it started and I had to go and see a specialist. And um, I wasn't on medication for a year. Okay. It was left to see what, ha what happened with the symptoms. Because you just started with your arm tremor, didn't you? Yeah, just with this yeah. side of my left. And now I've got it the whole of my arm and the whole of my left leg. And my toes are curled up and they're absolutely solid because it does affect the joints quite badly. So what other things have you got because of the Parkinson's? I've got an enlarged spleen, um, a liver, liver problems and diverticulitis which is to do with your stomach and you have to be careful what you eat and I'm diabetic as well so it's quite a lot to cope with but um, with all the medical care I can manage that. It's difficult to know as sometimes whether it's to do with the Parkinson's or whether it's to just do with the fact that mum's getting older because some of it will just be old age stuff that you would get anyway. Um, but yeah, but luckily, because unfortunately a side effect of Parkinson's is dementia and Alzheimer's, mm. but luckily, so far, touch wood, my brain is going all right at the moment. That's the bit that's still working, isn't it? That's, yeah, it's the only <laughs> bit that's working. <laughs> yeah. So how does it affect you um, getting about? Well, quite badly now. I can't walk um, only with um, a trolley or a, a pusher of some description. Yeah, you've got two walkers, haven't you? Yeah, so I've got two walkers and I've got a trolley with my medication on, which I deal with myself. But if I couldn't deal with the medication, mm -hmm. the carers would do it. Yeah, but you're able to do that because you're a nurse. I you? am so able to do that, do yeah. That. And sometimes I have to take mum, like this morning we've been up to the dentist, I have to take mum in the wheelchair, because you really can't walk very no, far, can you? If you I can't walk um, really now yeah. at all without something, yeah. a pusher of some description. Yeah. Is it making it more difficult to work because your toes um, are curled? Yeah, my, my left, all the, along my left side, my hand... My hand's funny because the joints here cause it to be bent, but I can straighten it. But unfortunately, it's quite painful. Yeah. And your knee joints and your shoulders and... How does it affect you when you need to get up in the mornings and have, um, you know, get dressed and just go about your daily routine, really? Because of the... Um, Parkinson's makes you slow in movement. It takes a while to wake up. If you're if you're woke, woken up really quickly, and makes you start, it's almost impossible to get going. But you you are able to control that to a point. But unfortunately, slowness is one of the things. So you have um, care in the morning, don't you, to help you? Shower and get yeah, dressed? Yeah, I have a carer for an hour in the mornings to help me get showered and dressed. And she gets my breakfast as well, which is really good because I couldn't manage to do that myself. And then I have a carer at 7 o'clock to get me something to eat and get me ready for bed, although I don't go to bed. But um, I can walk to the bedroom myself, so... Uh, sometimes you've um, slept in the chair, haven't you? You've I have. The, this chair I'm sitting in now uh, turns into a bed. You have to 
separately. That so just goes back. Yeah, it goes it? back and the bottom comes out. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. Um, and I have on occasion slept in, in here. Yeah. But not, I try not to very often. So it's just a case of sometimes trying to just go to sleep where you're comfortable. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where it is as yeah. long as you're comfortable. Yeah. Okay. So I do your shopping and cleaning and um, I change the bed and do the washing and it because mum is not able to do, it, to, to do any of that now. So. This is my daughter that, <laughs> I, that, I'm, that is side of me and yes she's amazing she does everything and i couldn't manage without her so i i say to her you can't be ill or anything because i need you <laughs> no joking apart she's brilliant and does everything for me well you just do what you can don't you but we we try and have a laugh as well because you have to oh, mum's always kept her sense of humor um because you have to, you just it would be. Yeah, you have to keep going. There's yeah. two things: you can either be um, happy and keep going, or miserable. But don't be miserable because you just get deeper and deeper into it. Exactly. Yeah. Just but just um, whatever happens, you have to carry on. Try and carry on. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope you like this interview. If uh, you would like to know anymore I will leave my email below and also a link to the Parkinson's disease down in the description um, so that you'll be able to go on to there if you would be interested to. Thank you very much for watching I do hope that you will like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.